On Tuesday, tens of thousands of people gathered in Washington, D.C. in support of Israel after the Hamas attacks of October 7th. Among the many is Rabbi Jonathan Infeld. He is rabbi at the Congregation Beth Israel here in Vancouver, back from that very large gathering. Thanks for joining us, Rabbi. First of all, what motivated you to, to go to Washington, D.C.? So, first of all, thank you. Thank you, Dan, for having me on the program this evening. I, I really greatly appreciate it. It was so important for me to travel to Washington, D.C., to be there for the rally. You know, the reality actually is that there were 290,000 people who showed up. Uh, it, was, it was an incredible experience, and it was so important to be there. What was the, the general mood? Sorry, I'm just... I'm, no, no, please. The, yeah. the, mood, the mood was actually very positive, despite the fact that this is a very dark time, a dark time for, for the world and for Israel and for the Jewish people. We as a Jewish people have faced unprecedented anti-Semitism, even here in Canada and even in Vancouver. We have seen a rise of anti-Semitism across Canadian campuses. And I, I know that my own congregants and members of the Vancouver Jewish community have felt anti-Semitism and actually have felt alone. Mm -hmm. And so that's one of the reasons that I wanted to be at this event. We have seen a documented rise in anti-Semitism. We've also seen a documented rise in Islamophobia. Uh, as, a, as a faith leader, what do you tell your congregants and, and uh, whether they be, uh, and others that you've spoken with, whether they be, they be Jewish or, or, or Muslim or Palestinian, what, what do you say to them? Of course, you know what? I, I believe that all of us as Canadians must stand up against hate, no matter what kind of hate it is, whether if it's Islamophobia or if it's anti-Semitism, it doesn't matter. We must stand against hate. But at this moment, especially for, for the Jewish community, it's been exceptionally difficult. Two synagogues in Montreal had attempted fire bombings. Two Jewish day schools were shot at. And just last week, my son actually was at Concordia University, where he works for the Jewish community, oh. and was actually attacked by an anti-Semitic mob. He came within centimeters of being physically assaulted. And so I have to say, I actually saw my son at, uh, at the rally. He came down from Montreal. And I don't think I've ever given him a bigger hug and bigger kiss because this was so meaningful to be there and, and to be able to see him and to be able to fight against anti-Semitism and to be able to fight against hatred of all kinds. It's so important at this moment. And, and lastly, we appreciate your time. We have heard uh, louder uh, calls for a ceasefire. There was another protest in Washington in, in mid-October. Uh, Burnaby Councillor Daniel Tetro, as well as Burnaby Council, unanimously asking for calling for a ceasefire. What do you make of those you know, calls? Certainly, as a rabbi and, and members of the Jewish community, we care deeply for peace. We care deeply for children, Jewish and Palestinian children. And it is our prayer that sometime soon there will be peace. But the one thing we know is that a ceasefire at this moment will actually probably bring about war and violence in the future. Hamas is a terrorist organization. And if Hamas has a ceasefire at this moment, they will use this as an opportunity to regroup and attack again. You what don't see it, uh, if, I, if I could ask, you don't see a window of time in there in which if a ceasefire or some sort of, as they call it, humanitarian pause was offered, that um, mm -hmm. a, a quelling of, these, of, of the violence could occur. So a humanitarian pause, I understand. There was a ceasefire on October 6th. That ceasefire was not brought to an end by Israel, but it was brought to an end by Hamas. Unfortunately, we know that a ceasefire will end, and it will end because of Hamas. And it will end when Hamas attacks Israel again. So as much as I'd like to see a ceasefire, I know that a ceasefire at this moment is nothing but an invitation to violence and death on both sides at some point in the future. Rabbi and, Jonathan Infeld, we appreciate your time and your perspective. Thanks for you're joining welcome. us. You're welcome. Thank you.